Hi, it's Cheryl from City Grammar. Have you heard the expression, every cloud has a silver lining? Well, take a look behind me. Every building has a silver lining. If I look in the distance, I'm not really sure what's happening. So in this case, I might say, something is happening. Again, if I look in the distance, maybe somebody is doing something. I don't know who it is. It could be Sarah, it could be John, it could be my sister Carol. So there are two words for us to use. For example, something when we don't know exactly what's happening or somebody if we don't know the identity. So in short, we use somebody for a person or something for an object or a thing. So let's take a look at some examples. Something is happening around the fountain. Something is happening around the fountain. Or, for example, somebody is sitting on the grass. Somebody is sitting on the grass. So we use somebody or something when we're unsure or it's not important. For example, we're not sure of what the person is. It could be a man or even a woman. Or if we're not sure of what the thing is, it could be a dog or even an elephant in that case. So we use something. Use somebody when talking about a non-specific person and use something when talking about a non-specific object So you can see it's very simple. Now, if I want to move away from something or somebody, and I perhaps want to ask a question, we need to change the word. So let's take our first example. Somebody is sitting on the grass. Now we want to ask a question. So in this case, we would say, is there anybody sitting on the grass? Is there anybody sitting on the grass? Now look at our other example where we say something is happening around the fountain. In that case, we change it again and we use anything. In this case, the question is, is there anything happening around the fountain? Is there anything happening around the fountain? In questions, use anybody when asking about a person and anything when asking about an object. OK, so now we're going to look at the negative. So we can start by saying the question, is there anything around the fountain? No, there's nothing around the fountain. So in this case, we use nothing. Anything changes to nothing. There is nothing around the fountain. And for our next question, is there anybody sitting by the river? The answer is no, there's nobody sitting by the river. So this has changed from anybody to nobody. There is nobody sitting by the river. There's another way to say the negative. Instead of using nobody or nothing, we use the negative plus anything, or the negative plus anybody. For example, is there anybody sitting by the river? No, there isn't anybody sitting by the river. There is not anybody sitting by the river. Or we can ask the same question about the fountain. Is there anything happening around the fountain? No, there isn't anything happening around the fountain. There is not anything happening around the fountain. So, instead of using nobody and nothing, we use anything plus a negative or anybody plus the negative. In negative sentences, use nobody when talking about people and nothing when talking about things. 
You may also use the negative particle not plus anybody or anything. So we're just behind King's Cross and remember we're learning about somebody or something, anybody or anything. So now the task for you, have a look behind me. Remember the silver shape? What can we say here? Can we say somebody or anybody drew the silver shape? Which one? Think about it. Choose the correct option. The correct answer is somebody drew the silver shape. The correct answer is somebody drew the silver shape. Well done. And now another example for you. Have a look at the fountain. Which question is correct? Is there anything happening around the fountain? Or is there something happening around the fountain? You decide. Form a question. The correct question is, is there anything happening around the fountain? So the correct question is, is there anything happening around the fountain? So remember, with the question, we use anything or anybody. So that's the end of our lesson, and I'm off to my beautiful setting to have a lovely dinner. Enjoy your evening. Bye.